Kenneth Webb came to Galway for the first time in 1953. He came to the top of a kind of a drab and colourless high street, uh, looking at the interesting curve on it with a view to painting it. But he was intrigued by a splash of colour in the middle. And these were hand-woven rugs made by a Mrs. Des Fretwell. They were beautifully colourful, hard-wearing rugs. And uh, he was intrigued by this splash of colour. So he came in to my mother. Uh, she told him, you know, this is a bookshop. I have introduced some crafts into it in an attempt to kind of liven it up. And he said, well, what about maybe taking in paintings as well, original paintings? And so 68 years later, happily, we are still working with Kenneth Webb. It's a very long and fruitful relationship and it's based on trust and friendship. has gone through so many different phases since. He has painted many different uh, types of themes. In those early days, he was doing a lot of traveling. He might be painting in Greece or in Paris or in Italy or in Africa indeed. But in 1974, he bought this old cottage near Clifton and slowly and gradually, the focus narrowed for him. It narrowed into Connemara and the narrowing narrowing increased so now it's a small area in and around the Ballinaboy area outside Clifton and there are two things there that intrigue him the first is this garden that he started with wildflowers and gradually cultivated and which he loves he's very interested in it he, what he really is interested in is colour 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 and then at the back of his house is the round stone bog and they are the two great muses that he's had. So it's just such a wonderful pleasure to have him back with this very exciting exhibition. There are one or two earlier works, so it's not quite retrospective, but certainly uh, well worth a look at and he's painting in different media as well here so it's very exciting now he is 94 years of age but to meet him to listen to him to watch him paint there is no clue or hint that he is that age he is still just thoroughly enjoying what he is doing And very happily for this exhibition, uh, we are, Kenneth is joined by his daughter, Susan. He began to teach her painting from a very young age. She didn't finish school. They felt it was counterproductive to send her to school. She was only interested in painting. And her first exhibition we hosted when she was 18 years of age. For one so young, she was incredibly mature and skilled in terms of the application of paint and canvas and so on and uh, it was a very exciting uh, debut from Susan. Then in 1993 there was a huge transformation. We hosted a big exhibition of hers which we called the Galway Races and the change here was that most of these paintings were equestrian paintings. Paintings of horses in, and ponies maybe in the landscape, maybe out training, eventing, jumping, running, being groomed in stables, whatever. Horses are a very, very difficult subject for a lot of artists, but she had mastered this technique and ever since has been known a lot, really, for her equestrian paintings and paintings of dogs. And there are quite a lot of those in this show, as you can see. But
excitingly, now we have a series of landscapes and even indeed interiors, uh, which we haven't seen for a very long time from Susan. So it's a willingness to change, a willingness to experiment, a willingness to have a go, and maybe eventually go back to the horses as well. But we're looking at a much broader uh, kind of painting from this artist and it is a delight and it's a particularly a delight to have her with her dad. for a long long time as you can see so this is honestly a very exciting exhibition it's quite a large show some 50 works on show uh, various media various sizes and scales and so on and well worth a look at <laughs> Welcome. Um, welcome to my studio. Tom has asked me to say a few words about my uh, works for this exhibition since, um, you know, with our restrictions, we still have to be online a fair bit. And I'm delighted to do so because this is the first exhibition I have been so excited about since the very first one I ever did um, as a solo exhibition, which was given to me by um, Tom's parents, Des and Maureen um, Kenny. Um, the summer when I was 18. So I'm really thrilled to be back there again this summer um, and with my dad, uh, bonus, bonus, at uh, 94 years of age. We are so thrilled, you know, each extra year we get is fantastic. So my new work. Well, um, the, the uh, COVID times have been a, a, a really uh, strange and unusual experience. So the first thing that happened when we were, we were all told to stay at home was my son um, decided to just take all our classes online. So I was running for dad um, the Irish School of Landscape Painting that he founded in 59. Um, and of course, it had always been an in-person, um, very personal um, um, teaching experience. So I was concerned that all our all our students would, would continue to feel supported through the lockdown. So we um, redesigned our website and we took everything online and it's been a wonderful experience. And I love synchronistic events. So um, I did a little bit of film work in um, just before my son was born. My son is 20 now. And he, uh, he was the one uh, that I gave up the film work for because obviously I wanted to be with him all the time. And uh, it was he that took us back into the world of film, of doing things online with cameras and all of this. So um, it's, been a, it's been a lovely coalescing of all the things that we've done before. And in the same way, um, it's br brought my work to a new f fruition. So this is a, a large equestrian work. It's four by four foot by three foot. I'm just putting the final touches on it. And um, it's all about the joy of life, the joy of the um, youngsters playing with the leaves, um, joining the dance, it's called joining the dance of the leaves. Um, and in the same way that the, that the horses are joining the dance of life there, I've, I've had great fun with the students dancing our way through um, the study of lots of different artists because I, I thought it was a good chance for people to um, uh, broaden the horizons and to look at all the love, wonderful gifts that have been given to us um, from the past, from old masters and modern masters. And as, um, as studying the work has helped um, the students, it's also helped me, obviously, as I'm studying it also. So here is a, a, a wonderful um, experience that I had just near to here. It's um, of the railway line. This is the railway line uh, between Bray and Greystones. It's called Brandy Cove. And the reason I painted it is to convey this feeling of vertigo that you get, or at least I get, whenever I get to a cliff edge. I really don't like cliff edges. So it's that sort of kind of dizzying feeling that you get 
as you're, as you're standing there on the cliff edge. And, and this one has particularly um, an impact because um, that which I would be afraid of, even in a train going along there, um, falling down the cliff, actually happened in the late 19th century. Uh, fortunately, uh, without too terribly disastrous con consequences. So it's uh, called Brunel's Folly also, because there was a, um, a tunnel that they put just, just up here. This is the support for the tunnel back here, um, through the rock. And the, uh, not the actual uh, tunnel, it didn't fall down, but the supports for the train track going into it um, fell and the train went down into the sea. Um, so they then had to build another one inland, but um, we didn't expect such things from Brunel, so Brunel's folly. Um, and then I was feeling terribly nostalgic for Connemara, for my dad's studio in Connemara. So I, I did a couple of paintings here of Connemara. So this is my mother's corner in, in um, the uh, studio there. And it's the happy, joyous, you know, remembrance of the views and the times in the, in the uh, studio there. So that's called Golden Bell and a Boy. Well, I couldn't leave my dad out, could I? So I decided to do a pair for it. So this is called Kenneth's View. And, what, and th this is the view that dad has every time he sits down to a meal with us. He always sits in this chair with this view. So I took the pattern from this carpet that he had specially woven for him in his bedroom. And I, I, did, it, I did the same kind of a view, but with uh, a, a masculine or a Kenneth, a Kenneth um, um, color scheme. So these experiments in color have been, have been really fun for me to do. And then in November, I got quite obsessed with the moon. I don't know if you remember the moon in, in November, but it was amazing. We would go out for a walk, my son and I, at night. Um, we'd go down to the woods in the, in the evening time. And it was so bright, you wouldn't need a torch. You could actually see our shadows on the ground. So I did a, a number of experiments with that. With that. So um, these two are in palette knife. So we have in full snow up on Carrig, and we have um, the snow melting here. And then here's another one with Fastnet Lighthouse in the background. So it's just another theme that I've been exploring. Um, they're all quite emotional pictures. They're all a lot more emotive than I, I, um, I have sometimes done. Um, experimenting more with the colour, which of course is emotional, but also I guess it's the times which are emotional. And um, there we are. That's my work for the moment. I hope that you'll come to the exhibition or see it online. And I would love to hear what you think of the new work because it's, a, it's been a, a big step for me. And um, I, I'm really happy with it. I know this exhibition that Susan and I are putting on with the Kennedy Gallery. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, I got a little place. In, in fact, um, it's some of my recent work. The last time in Connemara, which seems like years ago, it's just a couple of years really, but it seems an age. So the one that I particularly like, of course, is my favourite place where the um, where all the turf was dug out for the Marconi station, that great big lake with all the water lilies in it, which is um, uh, the basis of quite a lot of my work over about 40 years, I think. Anyway, Tranquility is a recent run, and then of course there is the, the bog itself, which I find absolutely fascinating, and I have done so since the 50s when I first walked with you in it. Um, we were staying at the time down in Ranstow, if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. And then we had the house in Clifton, which was actually in the bog. And that has given me great pleasure and, and, and quite a bit of profit, one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, as I say, I miss it terribly, but there we are. Yeah, well, we've had a couple of them now since our 
uh, lockdown started initially in what 2020 February or something um, it's kind of made me think very differently which is a nuisance I've missed Connemara of course as you know it's been my muse for 60 70 years and we've gone there every year since the late 50s as I recall and um, not having that background to work from when I come back to England briefly means I have to start again entirely on something new which of course is trees because we're loaded with trees all around the property here <laughs> and it reminds me of course since I started working with trees as a basis of my time spent partially with you in the Forest of Dean when I was a teenager they're very um, different trees you know. they're, they're different trees but they're still trees you know um, <laughs> green things and uh, uh, it's been as you say extremely um, challenging but in the meanwhile that I've been working in this particular manner I had a, a sort of inspiration for a new very large Connemara painting and I intend, as soon as I finish this little lot of work, I'm going to start it. A really big one, big skies, like those big thunderous skies I used to paint, and a completely new bog. Actually, I found a reference that I could use, so it's cheating a bit, but who cares anyway. It'll still be Connemara, and I suppose I, I might even call it my last... No, my lost Nulger bog painting. Oh, but nobody will like the title, but that's really what I think of. 